Hey folks, welcome to Gaslight Vapes. I'm your host, Gaslight Khalifa. Um, this video, we're going to be talking about a bunch of stuff. Some of it not even vape related. Um, I'm not going to do any actual reviews or anything. I'm just going to chat about what's what I've been tasting this week. I've been tasting so many juices. Um, just a ton. Um, I've probably tasted 30 juices today. Um, but let me uh, show you some of the ones that I have in front of me. Um, some good old skim milk out of my uh, Granville Island Brewery mug. The raspberry beer. Mm. Um, so what's new? What I've been vaping on this week. Uh, one that I really liked. Ruthless Mandingo. It's a banana nut bread. Um, it's really good. Fairly sweet, um, but not overly sweet. Uh, it's, it's it's good. It tastes like banana nut bread. Banana is not overpowering at all. I'm not a big banana eater, um, but that is really good. Um, another one from the Ruthless line that I tried out is the peach fuzz, the peaches and cream. Um, it's, it's what the name says, man. It's 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 peachy, it's creamy, it's uh, pretty decent. Um, out of the two, I like the Mandingo the best. Um, picked those up from Sherwood Vapes from Josh. Josh was nice enough to drive into the city and drop them off for me, so thanks a lot for that, Josh. Um, they're not cheap juices, I ain't gonna lie. Um, I think they're 17 or 18 bucks for 15 mil, somewhere along there. So, more than a buck a mil, ouch. Uh, what else I puff on this week? Um, I showed you guys this stuff in the last video, I think, or the video before, maybe. Um, some Space Jam, Galactica. It's a fresh strawberries and champagne um, so I was kind of expecting almost like a like a strawberry soda almost because I, I heard that the champagne is supposed to kind of give juices a little bit of sort of a fizzy taste obviously you can't give it an actual fizz but um, it's supposed to help with like cola flavors and shit like that so um, I didn't really like it it's, it's decent um, I won't buy it again. Um, and once again, it's premium juice, but to me, the only thing that's premium about it is the price. Um, yeah, that's 17 bucks or something. Um, what else? Um, this is one that I've had sitting around for a couple weeks, and I finally kind of just got the chance to. Uh, to hit it this week, so it's the C is for Cookie from Toronto Juice Co. Um, their description is rich sugar cookie Italian style with a bit of spice and hints of almond and hazelnut. Yeah, I would agree. Um, I could say it's a little bit like um, what the fuck are those things called? Um, Wow, I can't remember right now. Um, I think part of the problem is that my wife shaved most of my brains away tonight. Um, I was getting a little shaggy. Um, even trimmed my beard. But looking in the camera right now, if you can see, I actually trimmed this side a little lower than this side. Idiot. I'll be fixing that up tomorrow. Um... Biscotti, that's the word I was looking for. Um, Italian style cookie, right? Um, it is what it is, it's a good juice. Um, I sh picked it up from River City, of course. Um, what else? Uh, a couple of juices that came in my Zampa box that I haven't talked to you guys about too much. Um, 
this one the must vape handlebar I can't remember exactly what it is it's a it's a fruity one From what I remember vaping on it, uh, I went. I did. Looks like I did a couple tanks of it. Um, it was really good. Quite tangy. It, I think it's apple. And, you know, but I'm being an idiot. Why don't I just pull it up here really fast? I have a computer. Um, do do do. Sorry for this, folks. Maybe well that's oh there we go. Do 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 what a terrible website. Flavors, here we go, Handlebar. Peaches another peaches and cream with a tropical twist twist. I mean tropical margarita that delights the senses. Mouth watering peaches intertwine with heavenly pineapple to create a combination that is out of this world. There are undertones of tropical flavors, but there's also a decadent creaminess to it that creates a perfect summery blend with a sweet twist. Jesus Christ, what a fucking de definition, man. Or description. Too long. Too long. I don't want to read a whole story. Um, it was good. Um, the pineapple really stood out for me. Um, I, ain't gonna, I, I don't think it was really that creamy or peachy. Um, like I said, to me the pineapple really, really stood out, so that was good. Um, one of my favorites, I think, from the whole Zample box was this one. The G2 Vapor Dr. Green. It's a green apple, pear, and kiwi. Um, and you can, you can taste all three of the flavors in there quite easily. You can pick them out. Um, super tangy. A little sweet, but it's really good. Everyone who, who tasted it really, really liked it. So I definitely uh, encourage you maybe to order that one up if you like ordering juice from the States. If you're a gambler. Um, what else? Another juice that's been around a long time. I don't know why I never thought to try it. I think maybe because it's it's a watermelon vape. Um, but I tried it for the first time tonight, and I quickly bought a bottle because it's freaking tasty. Uh, the BC Blast from River City Vapes. It's a watermelon berries. Um, yeah, it's really good. Uh, the watermelon it definitely tastes, I would say, like a watermelon bubble gum. Um, but it works with with the berries that they mixed it. That's mixed with. Um, it's it's great. It's sweet. It's quite smooth. Um, I could see me vaping. It could be an all-day vape. Yeah, it's a, the, the flavors aren't overpowering, so yeah, I could I could vape this all day. So that's kind of it for juices I want to talk about right now. Um, what else is there to talk about that's sitting in front of me? Um, I got a a limo drop. That's the the shorter version of the limo. Um, sitting around in a shop today, and they're arguing whether it's pronounced limo or lemo. I don't really care what it's how it's pronounced. Um, I'm just stoked I got the shorter one. Um, it's 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 decent. Um, I haven't had enough of a chance to to play around with it. One thing I know that I don't really like um, the adjustable airflow on it. It's a little, for those that don't know too much about the Limo or Lemo, uh, you probably won't be able to see, but underneath that uh, the slotted, the, the, the slotted screw, there's a couple little slots and you turn it, it's just this little nut that spins on there and that's how you uh, change your airflow. Um, that little nut is super loose and to me it seems that it's either um, <laughs> stopped right down for, for a super super tight draw 
or it's damn near wide open. You, you really only have two choices. Um, I haven't been able to kind of hit a sweet spot in the middle anywhere. So that's, uh, I don't know, it's, that's kind of a bummer about it. Cause it's, it's pretty cool. It's a rebuildable tank. Um, it came, it, it's, it's like a K-Fun or a Russian or whatever. Um, same, it's the same basic build deck like those ones have. Um, doesn't hold a ton of juice. I think maybe two, three mils. I'm not sure. Um, it came pre-built with a with a one ohm coil and some kind of cotton or something that was just fell right apart. Quickly changed the cotton out right away, but I kept the coil in there. Um, I want to play around with it more. Um, hopefully next week I'm going to grab a either a Segeli 100 or an IPv3. I haven't decided exactly what I want, um, so I'd like to throw it. Throw some real power at it and, and, and see what it does. Um, really, the only other new thing, um, the Atlantis, like everyone's got. It's old news already, almost. Um, it's great. Throws the clouds like crazy. Um, the flavor is okay. Um, not as good as as the Nautilus. Is it? To me, anyways. Um, only thing I have that'll fire it now is this. So I'm good. When, when the battery is full, fresh off the charger, um, it hits awesome for 15 minutes. And then that's about her. Um, once again, I'd like to throw it on a regulated device and really, really throw some power at it and see, see what it does. Um, what else? Wife wants me to throw something up behind. Um, other people have said things about it too. It looks fairly ghetto with my uh, Ethernet cables <laughs> taped to the wall. I have my router upstairs because if I have my router down here by my computer, um, my Wi-Fi is shit upstairs. Um, so I've got my my wireless router upstairs. So I have. A 50-foot Ethernet cable going from my modem under the desk here, up the wall, through a hole in the floor, to the wireless, and then another fucking 50-foot cable coming back down, bringing it back to the computer. Um, whatever. It's ghetto. I'm ghetto. Um, I think the NASCAR ticket stubs hang in there, too, are a nice touch. Um, shows how trailer park I am. But fuck you all. NASCAR rocks. Um, what else talk about? Um, do any of you guys like like watching stand-up comedians? Um, one of my favorite comedians, Bill Burr. Um, I don't know how many of you have watched his stuff. He's got like, I think four specials out now on Netflix. New one just came out today or yesterday. We, my wife and I watched it. He's super funny. Um, if you haven't watched any of his stuff, check him out. I guarantee you. You, you'll love him. You'll love him. He's awesome. Um, that's really all I have for today. Um, nothing new, nothing special. Just wanted to hop on here and chat with you all for a few minutes since I've been away for a few days. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, you guys all have a good weekend or maybe some of you got to work. I don't know. Have a good weekend either way. Thanks for watching.